What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be discussing Lil Mosey. A lot of you have been asking me to make an update video on him because it has been a couple months since I have and I figured we should dive into Universal because we do have a lot more news regarding Universal and Mosey's situation that he's currently going through. So with all this being said, we're just going to dive on into the video. Alright, we're going to start with what Mosey actually talked about and confirmed for Universal. Now he went on live on December 31st, the last day of 2021, and basically just discussed a lot of what was currently going on with Universal and he gave us some just basic album updates. He started off by saying that he was in the studio with Trippy. We know this from the last video I made on A Love Lady U5 that Trippy made a song for Mosey and then Mosey made a song for Trippy. Uh, I was with that nigga uh, Trippy earlier making some hits. Um, yeah, Swarkin. Album on the way. Ben said this. I, I ain't gonna lie. I said that. Uh, I said that 2019, I said that 2020, it's 2021 now, it's about to be 2022, uh, it's been two years since I was out the album, ain't it? Yeah, it's crazy, you know? I'm finna drop, I need to drop. I'm going to drop a single though. And then Mosey also goes on to talk about the album, saying that he wants to make sure that the actual album, Universal, or whatever he ends up calling it, he didn't actually specifically call it Universal, but he said that he wants it to have 15 songs on it, plus a deluxe with anywhere from five to seven new songs. How many songs on the album? But I don't know. I I, I, I want to put, uh, like, I want to put, like, 15 at least. At least 15. And then I'm finna do a deluxe album with probably like uh, at least five, six, seven more. I think that there's a high chance that he will drop a deluxe with it, just considering that he did do this for a certified hit maker. But he does go on to say how Universal is going to be all new songs. All the previously released tracks like Holy Water, Enough, all of those he confirmed are not on the album. The album is all new songs. Now, the only exception I think that might fit for this album is the song Not the Same God as Mine. This is a newer single that he did release that is on all DSPs, and it was released through Interscope again. So this does tell us that. He does still have his label deal, all that stuff, but it does confirm that the album Universal is going to be all new songs, which I'm glad because he had so many singles out like Try Me, all of those songs that the album was basically out with just all those singles. We had like five or six, so even if Not the Same God as Mine is on this album, at least it's a majority of all new tracks. Uh, this year, this whole year, every song I drop, Holy Water. Um, what else? I drop, I drop hella songs. Not hella songs. I ain't dropped shit this year. But, I mean, all them shits, they not finna go on the album. All this shit finna be uh, new, new, uh, new songs, all that. And then the last little piece of news I want to add in here is if you guys know the big Mosey leak, this is one of his fan favorite leaks at least, it's called Words to You. He did confirm that he wants to possibly put a feature on this song, so it might still release with a feature on it. I, I finna put a feature on this bitch. I think I still, I, I think I still am. All right, now that we got through all the news regarding Universal, everything that Mosey talked about and gave us, we need to dive on into his case that he is currently going through. I know that a lot of people probably don't want to mention this and talk about it, but we are still getting consistent updates about this case, and this is a direct impact on Mosey and his career, so I feel like it's something we need to discuss. I'm going to be using the Double XL article to talk about this that was published on the 8th of January, so let's dive on into this, but the article goes on to say that that the latest development in Mosey's case has been revealed and it could have a severe effect on the outcome of the West Coast rapper's case. According to a report from TMZ on Friday, Judge James W., the lawyer who's presenting over Mosey's case, has prohibited the Washington's rapper's legal team from using any prior consensual encounters with his alleged victim. Mosey sought the court's permission last month to present evidence that he had multiple consensual encounters with his alleged victim, but the court has denied his request. And then it just says that Lil Mosey's next court date is scheduled for March 24th. Now, we just have to keep in mind that there is a lot currently going on with this entire situation and this case could directly impact Mosey's album and his career in general. So it was just something that I wanted to briefly bring up. I didn't go over the whole article. You can read it if you want in the description down below. Talking about Mosey nowadays is just such a weird situation because of this case he has currently going on and 
I don't know if I am going to continue to make videos on him. I will maybe every once in a while, like stuff like this, but there's just really no hype to be made on the album when all of this is kind of going on in the background. But with all this being said, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Wait, wait, wait.